Today, I'm going to share with you the story of Pastor Bear. Amen. Amen. My name is Bernard Manzia, uh, Mountain of Salvation Church, Yabadstan, Mombasa. Hello guys, I'm Cleofa Sonyama, Cleo Rhythm. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time. And if you want to donate to this ministry, to what I'm doing, use the information on your screen or at the description box below. Pastor Bernard Manzia started ministry many years ago in the slum area. In the slum area of Buxton, Burukenge in Mombasa County. And uh, as a pastor beginning a church in a slum area, there was faced with very many challenges. Uh, the place was near sewage. They used to cross a sewage, a sewage floor before they entered the church. There's a lot of struggle. The church was still small. He had very few members. He had like two, three or four members. He had no benches. He had no comfortable seats for the church. Members were sitting on benches. He didn't have a piano. Members were playing jerrycans as drums and were clapping their hands. There was no microphone. There were no luxurious things which are found in the modern churches. The surrounding was a place which was not very pleasant. Of course, it was a slum area. A lot of many things take place in the slum area. Despite the challenges, nothing discouraged Pastor Bernard Monzia from continuing with his ministry. He continued preaching and continued running the church in the slum area despite the challenges and despite the oppositions At that time, uh, when the members was continuing to come, that is the time in which I met with the man of God, Kilopat Swanjama. And uh, from that time, uh, he gave in there and told me we can continue. And uh, then we start buying uh, seats slowly, helping those people, those who did not have food. And uh, we buy some seats, chairs, and uh, we buy uh, uh, instrument like the amplifier and get speaker. At that time, we did not have keyboard. We used to to hide to other uh, churches. So that is the time. That is 2013. 
It's year 2013. Yes. Then I came to meet Pastor Bernard Monzia. My ministry, Clover Sonoma Ministries, partnered with Pastor Bernard Monzia. And we started helping his church. We started to support the church by buying plastic chairs, by buying comfortable chairs, by buying things which were necessary to help the spread of the gospel. In this ministry, I believe in the body of Christ. It's not about my ministry. It's not about that pastor's ministry. It's not about the other pastor's ministry. It's all about the body of Christ. We are building the body of Christ. So I started working with Pastor Bernard Mwanzia. I was preaching in, the, in that church for years. Then suddenly members began to grow. Numbers began to grow. The church began to grow. It got attention of the whole slum area. Youths used to come. We used to have music concerts. We used to have events taking place at the church. Now the church grew, the church grew by the grace of God to a point whereby they could not, the, the former church could not accommodate the numbers which were growing. Pastor Bernard Monsia was was forced to move to a better place. Now that's when Pastor Bernard Monsia shifted from the slum area to a better place in Buxton. Now that's where the church is till today. The place is good. The place is not a slum area. It's a place near the road. Now the church has grown. They have good seats. They have good plastic chairs. They have a good altar. They are able to build an altar. They have PA systems. They have mixers. They have keyboards. They have speakers to enable the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. All this happened because of the hand of God and because we partnered with Pastor Bernard Mozia, whom we saw his zeal in the, in the work of the kingdom of God to push the, the things of God. I want to thank you all for your support. Surely the far I am today is because of you. God bless you. Bye. Yes, we like to appreciate you. It, it is because of your support that we are able to spread the gospel. The gospel needs funding. The gospel needs support. A vision in itself without support won't see the light of the day. And we want to thank you. I want to thank the partners of Cleofa Sanyama Ministries, the sole winner partners of all who have held my hand people who believe in this ministry. By doing this, we are able to build the kingdom of God. We are able to hold one another so that we can support the gospel of Jesus Christ. In my ministry, I don't believe in individualism. I believe in the body of Christ. We work together as a body of Christ. That's why you find today, I'll talk about Kakande and I encourage people to go to Prophet Kakande for, for prayer. I encourage people to go to Pastor Ezekiel for prayer, for TB Joshua. Why? Because I work for the body of Christ. My ministry is not, is not about me. It's about the body of Christ. Prophet Kakande has not uh, employed me. Pastor Ezekiel has not employed me. Prophet TB Joshua has not employed me. Pastor Bernard Monzia did not even employ me. I work for the kingdom of God, to build the kingdom of God. And that's how the body of Christ should function. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.